Hello guys, welcome to the episode 30 of this series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall continue to upload one episode every day. I shall walk through creating the view to get customer by ID. So these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones, hence it is highly recommended for you to go through them before viewing this one. Now there are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials through to the end. Finally, a request to subscribe to the channel and share it with the like mind. So by the end of the lecture, we shall know how to create the get customer view to render a form that allows the user to input a customer ID and run the application to show the customer details if there is one with a given ID. Okay, so let's flip over to Visual Studio. So I can right click any of these two action methods, HTTP GET or HTTP POST because they are same name. So it will create an empty controller with this and it will be given the same name. So click on add view, razor view empty and click on add. So get customer. and it will take the CSHTML extension by itself and let's get rid of the code and instead paste this code that I have on my clipboard okay and I will start explaining so this is the model customer is the model again and the layout is again the shared layout file and view back dot title is dynamically it will allocate a title get customer by ID okay and this h2 header is actually it's a backlink it takes it back to the previous page that is and which page it will be taking you to it will be index page again which gives you the list of all the customers okay and this action method is post because i'll be posting the form to be conditioned to be actually handled by the get uh, customer post action method which takes in an input ID and returns the response from the web API and deserializes the customer object in a JSON object to return a customer and render it to the view. That's the whole idea. Okay. So here it again gets the label of ID and takes an input or you know input text box and a submit button which is marked get customer. And again if the it returns a non-null customer object and if the customer id is not zero that means the id is present okay then it forms a table with the table head with these header columns id name address telephone email basically these are all the properties or fields of the customer model right and in the t body in a uh, table row on different table columns it evaluates the it gets the id name address telephone email values from this model and renders it that's if the id is present if the id is not equal to zero and if the id is not present it will take the id as zero and it will write to the browser the customer with the searched id doesn't exist so that's all about this explanation and let's click on start button to see the application running. So I have put these two applications side by side. This is the MVC application. This is the API application. And if I click here, it will, it should bring me the customer list. Okay. If I get a, uh, I've got all the customers. And if you see that there are lots of re return results with I let's try any of these IDs, say 1024. Okay. So customer with an ID 1024. And get the customer. And we get the customer. Right. And if I wish to get a customer with an imaginary ID which is not existing, let's try 234 and get the customer. The customer with the searched ID doesn't exist. That is what is written from the web API and it nicely formats the response and shows it to the browser so that's all for this lecture today and in this lecture we have seen how 
to create the get customer view and post it with the post request from the action method and uh, so that the form the view returns the response back to the from the web api to the browser and shows it to the user